When we checked in with the Whiteford Bobcats prior to their season beginning, Jason Mensing was quite clear because of the youth of his team. These Bobcats may not enjoy the postseason success they've grown accustomed to in Ottawa Lake. And after a one and two start to the year, you could understand where he was coming from. But since then, Whiteford has won four in a row, including last week's commanding 58-26 playoff win over Britain Deerfield. Bobcats at home taking on Detroit Leadership Academy in the playoff tonight. Skip ahead to the second quarter. Bobcats down six. Shea Ruddy keeps it himself. Huge hole for the quarterback to run through. Gets away from the Cougar defenders. Ends up getting taken down around the 16-yard line. Couple plays later, Bobcats hand off to Devin Shaw. His third touchdown of the first half. Whiteford would head into halftime up 30-28. This game kept going back in fourth in the fourth. Leadership Academy up 34-30. Ruddy play action, dumps the ball off to Levi Hilliard. Plenty of space in front of him. That would lead to Shea Ruddy score to give Ottawa Lake Whiteford Bobcats the 38-34 lead. Cougars looking to answer right back. Back to pass, but Hilliard comes up with the interception. Bobcats shut the door on the Cougars on the very next play. Offensively, Ruddy. He's going to follow his blockers, and he's got lots of room down the sideline. A 72-yard sprint. Whiteford goes on to the 46-34 win. Let's send out to the guy that called it for us, Tim Clagg. The Whiteford Bobcats this season have been a young group who's had to grow tremendously on the football field. Only four total seniors on this squad. Two of them right now playing significant minutes and they dug themselves a hole early in the first quarter, trailing against Detroit Leadership Academy. They trailed 14 to nothing. It was a gut check moment for this group, and they had to grow up quickly, and they relied on one of those seniors, Devin Shaw, to carry the workload on the ground. Devin Shaw amassed for 179 rushing yards, scoring three times. Coach Jason Mensing, his team trailed in the first quarter. He elected after a touchdown to kick an onside kick, and Shea Ruddy recovered the onside kick. They would take the most of the opportunity and push the ball downfield and score to take the lead in the second quarter. Whiteford didn't have a completed pass in that entire first half. Shea Ruddy, who's been injured a lot of this season, Coach Mensing said this is the healthiest he looked. And he had a big completion on third and long, a 55-yard pass for his first complete pass. But he also helped out Devin Shaw, the sophomore quarterback, did, scoring two times. This is a group that was gut-checked tonight. A reality check for them. They grew up as a group and grew up close together as they are able to come back and solidify a playoff victory in a 46-34 victory. They continue their season next week taking on Summerfield.